hello friends welcome to my youtube channel i am amit kumar and in this video tutorial i am going to show you how to create a pure html5 and css3 mesh layout without using any kind of jquery or javascript like stuff and you can see that the mesh layout that i have built in this video tutorial and we are not going to use any kind of media queries to make this responsive and i call this mesh layout because you can see that even if the vertical height of each of these columns are not equal you can see that here notice that here but they are still using the same amount of optimal vertical space and you can notice that in between each of these vertical columns margin and if you are interested to know how i build this just let's get started yeah but before let me show you that it is really responsive let me resize it you can see that when i resize this viewport to about this layout the layout switched to two columns and when i resize to something like this and it will switch to a single column layout it's pretty cool and we are not using media queries so I think you are now excited to see how I build this. Let's get started. So friends, you can see that here I am in my browser and I have opened the index.html file and this file contains simple contents like text, image placeholders and fig captions for each individual images. And there are kind of 13 posts and each post contains the same contents. And if you are curious about where I have grabbed these images, I want to show you a website uh, placehold.it and you can simply copy these tags and change the width and height respectively to get the size of image placeholder you want and you can also copy the link from here and paste into your href attribute of your anchor element that's how I have grabbed this image placeholders now let me show you guys how this structure is built into our HTML markup so I'm going to my text editor here and you can see that guys I have a simple HTML structure I have main element which is working as a wrapper element for all the individual anchor elements and there are 13 individual anchor elements and each anchor element is helping us to create one individual post like post one and each anchor element has a title of title attribute of post one and post two and so on now guys you can see that each anchor element contains an article tag which further contains two children one paragraph and one figure element and each figure element inside each anchor element uh, contains img element and fig caption element and you can see that I have also linked a file, the CSS reset file, which is used to reset the default browser styling among various browsers. You can grab this link from cdnjs.com and this will help you to reset all the uh, default browser stylings to avoid inconsistencies among different browsers. Now guys, I'm going to style my content and each anchor element should be look like an individual cards so let's go ahead and target the main element okay and this time I want to center all the contents to do that I want to set a default width for my main wrapper element to 90% and margin to 50% pixels from top and bottom and uh, auto from left and right that will center our, all the contents now I want to target my anchor element inside the main elements to do that it's very simple go ahead write main then anchor element and then go ahead and simply target each anchor element by its attribute title attribute type title and simply 
go ahead and remove the under underline from each of these anchor element to do that just go ahead and write text decoration none and it will remove the underline now i want to apply padding for each of the, these posts so it will be one them from all this side and i also want to give it a color of 424242 and let's save it now go back to your browser and see what it looks like at this stage now you can see that this is how our structure is looking right now that's pretty cool now just go ahead and make it look like a material card to do that i just want to apply some box shadows to it to do that just write box shadow box shadow give it first box shadow let's apply horizontal offset zero vertical offset one pixel and blur of three pixel and color should be rgba zero 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 and alpha value of 0.12 now apply another box shadow this time 0 for x offset 1 for y offset 2 for blur and rgba for uh, let's give it 0 0 0 0.25 actually 0.24 double the first alpha value that's it now let's save it and see the result into your browser and you can see that we are not getting the result as expected because we haven't set the display property of our anchor element just go ahead and set the, its display property to inline block now you want to see individual cards here as we expected <laughs> that's cool now it's time to go ahead and make it look like a masonry layout using the css3 column layout property and that property is incredibly powerful that's gonna help you to create your desired layout that you want it to let's go ahead and target your main element okay and just go ahead and write column width property and give it width of 220 pixel that it is the optimal width for each of our individual columns and I want three columns so I will write column count three at this stage it's enough let's save it and see the result and you can see that here we have got our three columns but they are not looking beautiful they are looking pretty ugly at this stage hmm. let's fix it go to your text editor and yeah i do want to mention that if you are using this column layout property you will have to uh, write vendor prefixes like this let me show you an example for moz mozilla firefox you have to write moz if you are using um, older browser and for webkit you have to write sorry for uh, chrome you have to write webkit like this uh, yeah if you are uh, again using an older browser and for the uh, all other browser we have left column width alone and sim uh, similarly for this column count you have to again write moz column count webkit column count like this and this is all for the all other browsers which supports column count property okay so guys now let's go ahead and fix the problem that we have seen in our column uh, they are not looking beautiful we want to make them beautiful and we want to have uh, spaces between each of these columns okay i will show you that later but let's go ahead and target the image elements and fix them uh, let's write a title and inside that i want to find img element and it will grab, grab this element and you can be more specific by targeting figure sorry uh, figure okay 
and it will target our each of these are individual image elements let's set its width to 100 percent and height should be auto like this and it will now center all of our columns and they will have gap between each of these columns but they are not the same size of gap or margin that we want so to do that i just want to go ahead and target my element main element and apply a, another property called column gap and let's give it 20 pixels now you can see that there is a 20 pixels of gap between each of these columns and now you can see that the height of each columns are not equal and they still using the optimal vertical space to align them vertically correctly now we want to have vertical margin between each of these columns so that's very simple let's go ahead and target your anchor elements and apply it a margin of margin bottom of 20 pixels for each of these columns and yeah just go ahead and also write their vendor prefixes moc webkit yeah that's right now see the results now you can see that there is also a equal vertical space between all of these columns disregard to their sizes no matter what is the vertical height of each individual column you will still get the equal vertical space among all the column and this is the masonry layout this was never been so easier to create using css3 people tend to use javascript to get this kind of results but css3 is now very powerful and we can create these kinds of layouts very easily now guys i want to show you something else let's play with other properties to make it look more beautiful for the img element i want to apply a margin top property of 1 rem and that's good now what i want i want that whenever i hover over a specific element all other elements should be faded okay to achieve that i am going to target the main element and when i hover over these elements i want to target all the elements on which my mouse is not hovered so i will write a title then not hover this means that whenever i hover over the container element it will target all the other element on which my mouse is not hovered and i will set its opacity to 0.6 so it will fade all other elements except on which my mouse is currently on so you can see that my mouse pointer is on post one and all other elements are now faded here you can see that now go ahead and apply some transitions but before i want to show you how to apply another box shadow for elevation on that element on which our mouse pointer is currently pointing on so target our anchor element on which we are currently hovering so right right hover and apply a box shadow of box shadow and give it horizontal offset of 0 pixel vertical of 20, uh, 14 pixels and blur of 14 pixels and RGBA value should be 0 0 0 and 0.25 okay and let's apply another box shadow this time 0 for x offset 10 pixels for y and um, 10 pixels of blur and RGB value and this should be 0 0 0 0.20 0. alpha value save it now let's see the results now you can see that our anchor is little elevated from bottom isn't it cool 
yeah that's really great I love it now let's apply some transitions go ahead target on this anchor element and write a transition property this will be written as all 0.3 seconds cubic bezier and this will have 0 0.25 0. Uh, 0.8 0.25 1 steady save it now see that how this smooth is I love the way it looks and all other elements faded down when I hover over specific post it is fully responsive without using media queries isn't it interesting let's see let me go ahead and resize the browser viewport from here you can see that here now it is showing as two columns at this size and when I resize furthermore it will go to single column layout and that is pretty exciting that we are not using even media queries to control the layout so guys hope you like this video and if you like this video please hit like to this video and share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet thank you see you in my next video bye bye take care